In the news this week, pay up or get locked up. The WA Sheriff is out to get fine defaulters. Greens politicians answered questions regarding the Same-Sex Marriage Act. And uni students danced their way out of stress. This is the Evening News with Ivan Lung and Ali Harper. Good evening. The state government's repo man has a new weapon to catch hardcore fine defaulters and make them pay their infringements as soon as possible. Darren McLean finds out what it is. Clear way or tow away, that's the message the government's preaching to WA drivers who ignore parking signs. For those of you who like freebies, listen closely. Public transport in Perth will be a free for all on Monday 3rd of November this year. It is a harsh reality for parents to face. According to the latest study, a growing number of kids in Western Australia are overweight and obese. Believe it or not, six more Perth suburb house prices have hit the million dollar mark. But before you get too excited about the price of your home, experts say it's all to do with market conditions. But we all have different ways to deal with stress, but a group of young people have chosen to dance their way out of it. I feel like dancing, Ivan. You got your dancing shoes on? Every day of my life. All right, it's time for me to get mine then. But before we hit the dance floor, just a reminder, you can check the latest news on our website. And while some uni students may spend their free time drinking and partying, Lung is producing and presenting his own TV news bulletin. One man is trying to do the job of a news editor, producer, director, chief of staff, editor, cameraman and reporter. Even if you've spent decades working in a broadcast media environment, it's a tough gig let alone if you're still a student. And joining us now is WA Men News commentator Howard Sattler. Howard, what's your view on this story? I mean, I'd advise the Premier to put a hold on celebrating this court win. I was joined by Liberal Senator Chris Back to discuss this topic. Chris Back, welcome to the programme. Thank you very much. Great to be here. The carbon tax was finally repealed. Was there a sense of relief in the Liberal Party room? There was. Uh, we went to the last election. We went to the 2000. Russell Wolf, welcome to the programme. Great to be with you, Ivan. You're a successful broadcaster, why join politics? A very good question. Wayne Martin will continue his role as the Administrator of the State until Mrs Sanderson is sworn in on the 20th of October 2014. As the world continues the clueless, relentless search of missing flight MH370, there's one thing certain within this cloud of doubt. It's hard to imagine that a wealthy society like Hong Kong will still have run-down villages existing and populated like this. And that's why C candidate Si Wai Leung shows his concerns to villagers right here today. We all have Christmas wishes, including those protesters behind me. Their wish is Chief Executive Si Wai Leung to step down this Christmas. Ivan Leung, DHK News, Hong Kong. Corey Wilkinson is one of many who are homeless here in Australia. Tonight, he shows us around the city where homeless people used to stay and share with us how do they get on with their lives. Happy birthday, Ivan, and congratulations of stepping into the world of mature adults. Well. The numbers are getting bigger and bigger, and it's not fun anymore, isn't it? I'm sure you'll have fun. You can assure me. Yes. Okay, I'll see what happens <laughs> tonight birthday. then. I'll see what happens tonight then. And those are the top stories of the week. You can read the latest news on our website. We will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye for now.